now the first step is to disable steam input and then launch the game so go to steam first of all close the game then go to steam maker right click on the game select properties and then go to controller tab and then select the option which says disable steam input and then check you can even try enable steam input but for me uh, disabling steam input has worked so you can try this and then check you have to launch the game once again now the next step is to move your mouse while in game so once you launch the game the controller may not work so just when the game is running just move the mouse cursor in the game and once you move the mouse now you can check your controller this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to disconnect and reconnect the controller simply disconnect your controller and then reconnect it and then check you have to relaunch the game now for playstation controller user close the game and then update controller using playstation accessories app so you can open any browser and in google you can just type in playstation accessories app and then you can go to playstation website if playstation accessory app is not installed in computer then you can click on download and install it in my case it is already installed so once install open playstation accessories app and then connect your control and once it is connected if there is an update you will see the update option in my case here you can see firmware a0520 and it's already up to date this is the latest one so update the firmware of the controller and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try this this is important now the next step is to enable controller in sound control panel so if the vibration is not working in the con uh, in the controller then you can try this you can just type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel now go to hardware and sound and then go to sound now over here you will see your controller here you can see dual sense wireless controller so make a right click if this is disabled so you can enable it so if this is disabled you will see like this and then you can make a right click and then you will see the enable option so let me disable it first and so make a right click and then click on enable now once this is enabled make a right click once again and then click on configure controllers put a check on quad uh, quadraphonic so sometimes it is not clicked over here so click over here then you will see all the four speakers over here and then click on next and then put a check on front left and right and then put a check on surround speakers and then click on next and then click on finish and then you can close this and then you have to launch the game once again and then check next step is to disable steam input and then connect the controller using the cable and then launch the game so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to controller tab select disable steam input and once this is done now you can connect your controller using the usb cable and to the to the computer so you can use the wired connection and then relaunch the game next step is to remove controller from bluetooth and devices so open settings and then go to bluetooth and devices and then here you will see your controller so click on th this three dot and then you can remove your controller from here so click on remove over here now once it is removed now you can add the controller once again so click on bluetooth and then you should be able to see your controller now connect your controller once again and then you have to relaunch the game and then check next step is to now unplug all the external devices from the computer so like if you have otas pedals any additional controller connected to the computer usb adapter any kind of dongle sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected if you have arcid stick connected disconnected if you have multiple monitor setup try to launch the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like v joy you can uninstall it or you can disable it and then launch the game and then check next step is to launch the steam in big picture mode with steam input disabled so in my case the steam input is already disabled so launch the launch steam in big picture mode so on the top right here you can see the big picture mode icon on steam click on it now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then check now still not working the next step is to use wired connection so instead of wireless you can just connect your 
controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.